Well, hello again, YouTube. Uh, this is Jeff with Jeff's Aquaponics, learning and fun. A uh, little update on my setup. Everything has been growing insanely good. Uh, I don't know if you tuned into the last video, but check that out. Um, I've got the romaine. It has been just exploding awesomeness. Uh, trying to remember what all these are. I got mustard greens in here. Um, my bean pole plant has just been growing like crazy. This is where all the water comes in. And uh, oh, this has just been a fun experience. Uh, this one here is a brand new arrival. I've recently planted broccoli, onions, cabbage, and zucchini. I'm thinking this one might be the zucchini. I'm not sure. So in a couple more weeks, we'll have some more growth going on. A uh, little bit more about my setup. We'll go ahead and feed the little fish fellas. All the kids are hungry, as always. So we'll just pan down in there. Throw a little food in. On my setup, I'm just using little goldfish. They are excellent as far as fish waste goes, as most people know, because they're in the carp family. Uh, the little setup, um, this right here, I have to owe the credit to Captain Morgan and Coke. <laughs> I was having a really good night, and uh, I was just out here watching the fish and tending to the garden. And actually, just sort of the idea popped in my head because I was having a lot of water splashing up over the top of this with the way it was. Uh, basically, you just take a little three-way connector and then you just add some three uh, fourths inch PVC pipe. I've got one down below. That's where the main water goes. And it's just a little excess pressure coming off the top one. And it has just been a huge water saver. Uh, there's all the little fish guys. The water's been crystal clear. I added two Placostomus in there. I had a bunch of algae growth and they have now eaten all the algae. And I've started throwing some algae wafers in there for them to eat. So that takes care of them. They're just, they've done more than enough of a job in there and they will grow huge in here. <laughs> but uh, we'll just show you a little bit how that drain pipe is working out. As you can see, it's extremely limited water splash. And it's just helped tremendously in not having to add water every day. And then I also added a drain hole. Uh, when you get to the full potential of where it's gonna sit, that way if it rains, you're not gonna overflow your setup. how that works so cool yeah little fish are doing well um, goldfish are perfect for any setup uh, as far as just they're so wasteful they eat and it's immediately released from their system so then it comes right up and it just helps everything to grow so nicely anyway I just thought I'd do a little update everything is just flowing and growing I also added uh, some people know about you can add composting red worms into your setup and they will just go in they will multiply till there's plenty of them in there and then they quit so it's kind of neat uh, just they take care of that they add uh, they eat all the all the solid waste that's in there and just kind of move the rocks around underneath so anyways I'm glad you could join me for another video uh, anyone that has any comments, we be more than happy to answer. Also, I am thinking about, a friend of mine gave me this for free. It's just a rain barrel. I'm thinking about cutting that in half. And then I might add another half right over here. Uh, what's cool is, down on the bottom there, you can see that extra tube running. I've got a three-way splice, or a three-way connector which is over here 
and I might just move this around to the other side and do all the tubing in that one and then I can have an additional grow bed here because there's plenty of flow coming off that to uh, support another one anyway thanks again for checking out my channel and happy growing anyone needs any ideas I am full of them and I'm sure the captain will help me get there as well <laughs> anyways till next time have an awesome day